Here's our basic product, the laser to fiber coupler. And as you can see, we have our three tilt screws, the ones with the washers. And in addition, we have what are called our locking screws. And they're the ones without washers, and they're the ones that stick up. Now, I've highlighted here three screws here that you see red paint on. You do not adjust those screws. There's our tool, a simple screwdriver, a little hex screwdriver. We've also provided for this some extra parts. We've got some spare uh, tilt screws, some spare locking screws, and also some spare washers. The tilt screws are always the longer ones. The locking screws are the shorter ones. Finally, there's our rubber O-ring that's used for adjustment. This is a cap that's used uh, to protect the optics when it's not in use. Here's the side view. And you can see there's our laser head adapter, and they come in different shapes and sizes and threads. The one that's used in here for our application is a 1 inch by 32 thread. The other side is our coupler flange, and that contains all the optics. Between it, you can see the O-ring. It's that little dark stripe that's going down the middle. And there again, from the side, you can see our tilt and locking screws. Now, here's our laser. It's a helium neon laser. You can see the spot on the screen. And it's a collimated beam, fairly small spot size. And that's what we're going to couple to. So here's our coupler. And that laser head adapter is designed specifically to thread onto this laser. We have different ones that bolt on. We even have ones that slip over the side of uh, the outside of the couplers. And if necessary, we'll custom machine uh, adapters that'll fit onto the end. So we start screwing, uh, screwing the, uh, the coupler on. We're threading it on right now. And as the light goes through the lens, you can see it expanded. This laser has a little locking screw on it, so we're just tightening that so we can make sure everything is secure. Now our next thing is to center the beam. When you shine the light from the laser through the lens, it can be, if it's not, off cent not centered properly, then the light as it shines through is going to go off at that large angle. And you don't want that. You want to have your lens roughly centered. You want your lens centered with your optics. So what you do is you look at the output when the light comes to the side, it's going to hit the side of the receptacle. And you'll see as we go here, you can see the beam striking the edge as we move it from side to side. Here you can actually see the lateral adjustment as we go forward. So once I start adjusting it to the left and the right, what you're going to see is it hitting the edge to the far right. As I adjust it back, it starts hitting over on the left, and you'll see even a little bit of reflection over on the other side. So there's the play in the screws. And once I have everything adjusted, I should have a smooth symmetrical beam coming out, quite uniform. So now it's just a simple case of plugging in the FC connector. This, this is our coupler in this case. Now, when you're using a lot of connectors, they have a key on them. You want to make sure the key lines up with the keyway. If you don't, the fiber's not going to stop at the right place. Once you have it lined up and it slides all the way in, you just tighten the locking nut, and away you go. And this is true for all the connectors you're going to be dealing with. We initially start off not with a single mode fiber, but with a multi-mode fiber. And the reason why you start off with a multi-mode fiber is if you recall, single mode fibers, again, have very small cores. And because the core size is so small, it's a hard target to hit right away. So to do an initial rough alignment, we're going to stick in a multi-mode fiber, which typically, in this case, has a core of 50 microns. So it is uh, more than five times as big. In fact, in the case we're showing here, it's 10 times bigger than our single mode fiber. So it's a lot easier target to hit. Now, I'm adjusting it. And as I adjust it, you start seeing light to appear from the output from the fiber. And you adjust the tilt screws, rather. And as you can adjust that, the pattern on the screen starts to change. Now, you want to get the light to strike towards the center of the fiber. And to do this, you look at this output, and you look at how big it is. You can see as I'm adjusting the tilt, the size has changed. It's going from large to small and large again. The reason for that is as I strike the, the core, the, the fiber core on the multi-mode fiber, 
If I'm striking the edge of the fiber, I excite what are known as high order modes. Now these high order modes come out at a large angle. Now as I go closer and closer to the center of the fiber core, I excite lower order modes. And these lower order modes come out at a shallow angle. So the end result is that my spot size changes as I excite the modes. So I should adjust the tilt to make this spot as small as possible on the screen. And you can see as we adjust it here, the size changes quite a bit from high order modes down to the low order modes. You should try to get the gap between the, uh, the flange and the laser head adapter to be at least as thin as the width of the uh, adjustment screwdriver. If you go too much farther than that, you'll find yourself torquing the screw so much you might actually break the screws. Looser than that, you'll find that you'll have trouble getting good adjustment. It'll be too much slop. It'll actually move back and forth quite a bit. Once you're satisfied with your alignment, you then take out the multi-mode fiber and you can now put in your single mode fiber. Now there's no guarantee that you're going to get light out when you've done this. If you've done it really well, you might actually start seeing some light out right away. But the odds are that you're going to see a dark screen initially. So what you do is you start at each one of these screws and you adjust it first a quarter turn in one direction. And if you don't see any light going that way, then you turn it a quarter turn in the other direction. If you don't see any light, you go back to the original position and you try another screw. So as we adjust the quarter turn, we get our light back. Now we're seeing some signal. Now, for the purpose of the presentation here, I'm demonstrating it strictly on a screen. Now, if you really wanted to measure things properly, you would hook the, the, the output from this fiber to an optical power meter, okay, and measure directly how much light's coming through. You may find it necessary to do a little bit of tweaking to the centering. And so what you would do is you would look at the power from the fiber while doing that lateral adjustment. Now it's going to be a lot harder to do than before, okay? And you may have to readjust the tilt afterwards, but if you've done it right, you should get a quite a bit of power. You're now ready to lock the, the, the coupler. The first thing you should do is move those locking screws in until they just touch. And as they go in, they'll make contact with the laser head adapter, and they'll just stop at one point. So you're just going in until it stops. You do that with all three screws. Once you've done that, you're ready to start tightening. What you should do is basically tighten it about a quarter turn. And when you do this, you'll lose the signal. Don't panic. You tighten up these those of screws again like by a quarter of a turn, and by the time you get back to the third one, you'll find you'll regain your signal again. A quarter of a turn is basically all that's necessary. After this, you can do a little bit of fine tweaking, a little bit here, a little bit here, to get as much power as possible coming out of the device. But that's what you're doing to optimize it. And once you've done that, you'll find that this device is quite rugged and secure and can handle vibration, can handle the differences in the power level. And that's basically all you have to do to align one of our laser to fiber couplers.